Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. Today we've got three mods, the Nightingale Crossbow, Nernie's Ranger Pack and the Iron Armor Varian mod. First up today is the Nightingale Crossbow. The crossbow is craftable at any forge and requires two ebony ingots, some leather strips and a nightshade to create. There's also an enhanced version of the crossbow that can be crafted. It takes a few more ingredients plus the standard crossbow, but it's strong enough to justify the cost as it ignores 50% of the enemy's armour and has a boost in its attack. The bow itself has a very sleek and dark look to it. It might be perfect for a stealth or assassin class. Currently there isn't a bolt that's been designed for this new crossbow, but the mod creator says he's working on it and it should be coming out soon, so look out for that. The Nightingale crossbow is slightly weaker than the Dwarven crossbow, and obviously Dawnguard is required to use this weapon just like the other crossbow mods we've shown. We really like the design of the weapon and think it fits in well in Skyrim. And for today's second mod we have Nerny's Ranger Pack, which adds a variety of different items and features to the game to enhance your experience while playing as a hunter. The mod adds a whole bunch of different armour pieces that have been designed so you can mix and match between different armours, boots, gloves and hoods to create an option that fits your hunter. The mod also adds two new swords and daggers which are designed for the lower levels, as well as five new bows and three new arrow types which are designed for a variety of levelled characters. And all of the new items as well as the arrows can be crafted at a forge using a mix of existing items and newly added items like a new wood type for the bows. The items have also been added to the levelled list so you should be able to find the items as you explore. The mod also adds two new ranger cabins for you to buy from merchants in the game. The first and largest of the two can be bought from the Nightingale Inn and can be found just to the west of the inn on a snowy path. The home itself has clearly been designed for a hunter and there's plenty of places for you to store your loot, either in chests or visually on tables. The home comes with two floors and a basement so there's plenty of room. The second home can be found way down south and can be bought from Lindley in Iverstead. The home looks out over a small pond and is very much a drop off zone that you use as a temporary workshop before heading off again. The inside is much smaller than the other cabin and doesn't contain as many features, but there's enough space for you to store your items and do some basic crafting. Another feature the mod adds is the Ranger Faction, whose headquarters can be found in the basement of Dead Man's Drink in Valkreath. As of right now there isn't much to it. It's basically a location where you can get your hands on a small portion of the new bows, arrows and armour that are available and once you enrol yourself to the faction you'll get access to the new items lying around as well as access to a room in the headquarters which comes with a bed and basic storage. And if there's interest in the feature then the author may expand by adding new NPCs, quests and dialogue. And the final feature which we'll leave for you to discover is a new quest and cave that can be found by following vague instructions in a new book that can be found in the Rager headquarters with the objective being to hunt down a tomb to see what treasure it holds. And overall the mod adds and changes enough to keep things interesting if you're already playing a hunter. And if you've never played as a hunter then maybe now's the time to start. And our third and final mod for today is the Iron Armor variant by Defunct. The mod allows you to craft a slightly stronger Iron Armor variant that has an added undershirt and male burnie. A burnie for those of you who don't know is a long tunic of chainmail that is usually worn as a type of defensive armour. The new armour is standalone and craftable at any forge, and its stats are slightly higher than those of standard iron armour, but it is still weaker than banded iron, so this mod gives you an option of something to wear during the middle levels where the two others wouldn't usually be an option. The mod will work with any retexture mod you have installed. The mod creator recommends using the Imidian Born Iron Armour retexture or Virgil Meal's Armour retexture. We're using them both at different times in this video, and they both look great. We think the addition of the sleeves and chainmail look great with the Iron Armour set, and it's a definite improvement to us. And that's it for today's spotlight. If you enjoyed any of today's mods, then remember to leave an endorsement or favourite on Nexus or the Workshop. And thanks for watching.